So um, on the DCF for a second, uh, with respect to the 134 you mm -hmm. accounted for, the, the, the teens who are on the run here, what's being done to, to locate them, make sure they're safe right now? So uh, as with as with any runaway, you know, the uh, the department immediately reaches out to uh, local law enforcement. Mm -hmm. They reach out to their families, to any of the collaterals, mm -hmm. uh, to try to find uh, where they are. Uh, we have a number of great programs around safe havens mm -hmm. for uh, homeless and runaway youth, uh, so we try to communicate that out. Of the 134, uh, over 70% of them are uh, 16 years or older, so you know, a number of them are, are older kids. And we've actually seen a decline in the number of days that kids uh, that were under our care are running uh, over the last few years. So the average is about 20 days or so. Uh, so the, the department does everything they can, again, immediately reaches out to local law enforcement to, to let them know uh, that we've got a kid who's running. Has there been any specific follow-up once this came out, you know, over the past 24 hours or so, you know, following up with local law enforcement, you know, if any of these kids have been found or accounted for? Well, we know the one that was in question uh, came back. Yeah. So, uh, so... The child on the cape you're talking right, about. Right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, and so he's already back. Uh, and I think the department, you know, does, um, you know, is looking at those 134, mm -hmm. you know, to see the same kind of thing. Is there any other updates on, you know, whether or not we've been able to find them? Are you aware when you, uh, whether any others have been located? I'm not. Okay. I'm not at this point. More about the, you know, the discrepancy between what Olga Roche testified at the State House and the fact, you know, that all the DCF, mm -hmm. all the children in the DCF chair were, were accounted, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that they were all accounted for, all safe, and then there were these 134 runaways. Have you lost confidence in her to be able to speak for the agency? I There's haven't. a lot of anger about Yeah, that. no, I, and I understand that. And I think if you went back and looked at the testimony, the way that the question was asked, you know, the question was, are there any more Jeremiah Olivers out there? It, did, it did refer specifically to Jeremiah Oliver, but there was also a question, a broader question about are all the children in DCF care accounted for? Can you give that assurance? And she seemed to do that. Right. Which led everyone who's not intimately familiar with the process to, to lead to believe that every child in DCF care was accounted for. There were 134 that weren't. Um, again, with that in mind, do you, you know, should she have said, should she have, not, have acknowledged that 130, those 134 children? I, I think, I think what she said in terms of how she was responding to the Jeremiah Oliver question was absolutely right, because she had put a process in place to make sure that we had track on every one of the kids yeah. under five years old. Again, if you look at the transcript, you know, uh, could she have answered the first part of the question was, you know, what's going on with all 36,000? She, she knows, you know, because she's very deeply involved uh, in, in the day-to-day -day operations of the department. Mm -hmm. She knows that, you know, kids, uh, that on any given day, there are kids in our care who run away. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, but I think the question she was specifically answering was, are there any more Jeremiah's out there? Okay. Now, we've, we've got to get you back into the hearing. Okay. And do you, I mean, do you have faith in her ability to continue to speak for the agency? This isn't the last time someone's going to ask her a question about DCF. I, I do. And, and I think the additional support that we put down there to, to help the department, she's got a plan. We've got a report coming from the Children's Welfare League mm -hmm. of America to identify anything. And I think as we've said uh, to them and uh, we've made public, you know, if they were to identify anything Thing as a part of the review uh, that we need to know about before we get the interim or the final reports, they need to let us know, and uh, and they're doing that. Great, Secretary, Great. Thanks, thanks so much. I appreciate Great. it. Secretary.